All week long, the Portland Thorns and Timbers have been out in the community serving with various nonprofits. It's all part of their Stand Together Week, an annual event that draws out hundreds of volunteers. Fox Bowl's Anna Katayama joins us from Providence Park with more on the help the players provided today. Anna? That's right, Pete. Stand Together Week started way back in 2012, and since then, its volunteers have put in 22,000 hours of community service. Today, a couple of people who you usually see playing soccer here at Providence Park headed out to build homes. It's indescribable to have all these strangers help build my home. It's day three on the job for future homeowner Abby Lotz. Construction work isn't easy, so she was excited to see a couple of soccer players show up to help. I've never been out to a Habitat for Humanity event before, and so I'm pretty excited to build a house. Emily Mengus is a star defender for the Portland Thorns, and pretty good with a hammer, too. She says she used to help her dad with construction projects and is happy to bring that skill to the community. Yeah, it's so important. I mean, this community gives us so much, and we rarely get the opportunities to go out. Also on the job today, Diego Chara, heart and soul of the Portland Timbers. I mean, because I feel great uh, doing this, uh, giving back to the community. I think this uh, is special for every player to be in this project, and uh, just try to to do our best. And the weather was warm and the work physical, but the volunteers made good progress. Abby Lotz can't believe that she's going to be a homeowner. It's something that she never imagined would happen to her. But sometimes things you don't expect do happen. Sometimes they do. Yeah, you never know what life's going to throw at you. <laughs> and over the years, volunteers with Stand Together Week have participated in 276 events like the one at Habitat for Humanity today. Live at Providence Park, Anna Katayama, Fox 12 Oregon.